Don't hurt me. I'll do anything. You should just pay Chinese mom. Wait, who are you? I am the egg food. Your Honor, the defendant has been charged multiple counts of racketeering, that is, fraudulent and dishonest business dealings. He is also being charged with resisting arrest. The multiple eyewitnesses will back up this evidence as well as a recording of one such act of the guilty party. This evidence will prove that the defendant, Mario Falcone, is guilty. Your Honor, under the law, my son Mario is innocent until proven guilty. The arrest that took place was unjust, and so the defendant is not guilty. Are you the detectives they sent over here? Yeah, I'm, yeah, yeah, I'm Detective Gordon. This is my partner, Detective Bullock. Bodies over here. How did, uh, how did he die? There was no murder weapon found in the report, but it also said that he was covered in egg. Eggs? You've got to be yoking me. Do we know who killed him? Not yet, but there's been a string of murders like this along the south side. Every time there was no murder weapon, but always this egg yolk found on their face. I don't know what it is, but this egg yolk is connected. Man. I know, it's the excellent crime. What are you, chicken? No, I'm just saying, GCPD's not all it's cracked up to be. Well, let's get going. Okay. The prosecution may call its first witness. You have filed many complaints in the past to the GCPD about the alleged Falcone crime family. Is this correct? Yes. Can you identify them in the courtroom? Yes. Can you identify them by name? Mario Falcone. Were you ever threatened by this man when he spoke to you? Yes. What did he say? He threatened to take all my earnings from my business. I needed that money to support my family. How often and for how long have you been paying Mario Falcone? Uh, once a month for the past couple of years. State your name for the court. Uh, my name is Olaba Lamin. And uh, how has Mario Falcone affected you? Uh, he has corrupted the entity of Islam and harassed our mosque. Exhibit A. Here is a recording taken by the first witness of Mario Falcone who is threatening this man and his family. Video proof. Exhibit B. Here is Mario using a weapon to beat the fourth witness. Exhibit C. Exhibit D. Exhibit E. I think I've heard enough here. While you were rambling on, Dent, I got some real information from outside sources that just came in. It's been brought to my attention that this case was not properly handled by the GCPD for multiple reasons. The warrant which is, was issued on false pretenses. It appears that the initial evidence was unbacked and inconclusive. The arresting officer was acting solo without backing from his police force, which is just bad conduct in general. There was also misconduct reported against the officer during the arrest, as well as afterwards. He was said to have shown malice in his arrest, and another separate cop was said to have threatened the defendant's life during his lockup in jail if the defendant did not allow himself to be sentenced as guilty. So with all this in mind, I declare a mistrial. Mario Falcone, you're free to go. I'm terribly sorry for this embarrassing inconvenience. I need to speak to Gordon. Lose another court case, Dent? Shove it, Bullock! Hey, hey, calm down, calm down, calm down, calm down. I'm calm. Calm down. Are you cool? I'm cool. I'm cool. I'm cool. Alright, then, what did you need to talk about? We lost. I used all the evidence you gave me. I questioned every witness. They all testified against him. The Falcons didn't even hire a lawyer. They just walked in and sat down. But guess what happened? The same thing that always happens in the corrupt city. The judge declared a mistrial. 
says the warrant wasn't justified. You conducted your arrest improperly. And get this, some other cop is reported to have threatened Mario's life while in here. No doubt paid by Carmen Falco to do it. God, I hate this dude. But it's a mistrial. It gets delayed, but we can still take him down. I doubt it. This was planned. Carmen is going to shut up all our witnesses. If we try again, it'll just be the same. Or worse, he'd be declared not guilty. What, so, so we just give up? Look, we're not going to take out any Falcone anytime soon. But listen, just, we can't talk about it here. Come with me. What do we do now? Is there no hope of defeating Falcone? I gotta say, deep down, I knew this would happen. But now, with you here, I think I have a plan. We are going to need to be precise and careful. We can't go out arresting Falcones or we'll get taken down real quick. No, first before any legal action is taken, we need to know what they know, or as close as we can get. Now, how do these different crime organizations interact? How do they have this power? Find the answer to these questions, and we find a way to take them down. I've been looking into this as well. We know that they must have some kind of official geographical boundaries. But that's only one facet of Falco's power. His guys, they're in our government. Politicians, the mayor, the judges, the cops. <coughs> like our new partner, Bullock. I see, we get these guys, but then what? That's where I can't be sure yet. But we build up evidence against these guys, or at the very least, identify who they are. Hey, we already got one. Got the judge at the trial, as corrupt as they come, obviously. I'm going to need you to help me on your side of things. I'll worry about the politicians, but I need you to find out which cops work for Falco. Alright, I'll, I'll do my best, but surely wow. you can't expect us to take down Falcone with this info, or even get enough of it to stand how he operates. Falcone's not the only powerful crime boss in the city. He has enemies, and those enemies have information. Now get back to the police station, see what you can do. Hey Bullet, find anything new? Yeah, get this. The eggs were laced with VX nerve agent. This stuff's so intense that it was banned by the Chemical Weapon Convention in 1993 for its severity. This guy is serious. The question is, where does he get access to this stuff? He's not just some common criminal. I'm gonna do some research. Something this specific has got to give us a clue. Gordon, hold on. Here it says VX was used as a pesticide known as Amton in the late 50s. Uh, Amton? Let, let me check something. Um, uh, yeah, I've got a list of agricultural related companies in Gotham. Uh, Weed Killer Incorporated, uh, Dog Labs. That's dog Pounds. What? I'm pretty sure uh, the LBS is a play on words and stands for pounds that people commonly misconcepted as dog laps, which is just silly. Mm. Wait, here's something. Gotham Lawn Care and Landscaping shut down around 1963. Their main warehouse was located on the south side near the docks. Get this. There was never any sale of the building. No official records of any clearing of the warehouse has ever taken place. Let's go check it out. Okay, if we can get in there somehow, we'll find a clue and we'll finally be able to take down a clue. Egg food. The 
protective order, you should never mess with Chinese mob. Hello, Detective Gordon. The poison I will give you is working and you and your friend will die any time. Why is he still alive? We should have killed him. Robin Wonder. 